Hey guys, it's Stephanie Legacy here reminding you to love your life and live your legacy. Welcome to my channel where I focus on all things related to health and wealth and anything in between. If this is your first time, I encourage you to like and subscribe as we go through this journey called life and strive to just be the best versions of ourselves. Today I'm going to be sharing the top five things I learned during my first meeting with my nutrition coach. So I had my meeting with my nutrition coach on Saturday. It was about a two hour conversation. I had previously shared with him the results of my bod pod. If you were curious about what my bod pod experience was like, I have another video uh, posted on my channel. So be sure to check that out where I go in depth about that experience. But I shared that with him and then um, we sat down for a couple hours talked about goals, the overall process, and some of the things I wanted to share with you were the top five things that I felt were the most helpful when they come to overall mindset, um, specific to a weight loss journey. Now, I think anybody who has tried to lose weight could tell you that it's 90% mental um, and 10% effort. And people will probably also say that being in a calorie deficit is the most important thing, far more important than exercise in general. Um, I would definitely agree with the fact that losing weight is 90% mental. It takes a lot of effort and it's something that you really have to focus on. And the way that my nutrition coach kind of framed this up, I really found interesting. So I'm going to share that with you right now. The first thing that he said was that we want to be brilliant at the basics. So he gave me an overall calorie goal based on my basal metabolic rate and how active I am in my daily life. Again, those are results from my, from my bod pod. Um, he gave me an overall protein goal based on my current weight and then also a water goal. He, we also did talk about um, strength training and cardio, rest, all of those things. But he said for right now, when I'm getting started, he really just wants me to be brilliant at the basics. So again, predominantly focusing on overall calorie intake and how much protein I'm getting because that's going to help to determine how full or satiated, satiated I feel in between meals. The next thing he talked about was focus and that really with weight loss um, or any type of health journey, you need to be focused. Need something, this weight loss journey or anything you're working on needs to be elevated in your life. And I think that's totally true. I mean, if you're working on a relationship, you need to be focused on that. You need to be putting in effort and time to grow and improve that relationship. If you're focusing, working on improving yourself in your career, you need to be focused and put effort on that. If you're training a puppy, working with your kids, um, trying to be a better friend, really anything that um, you are trying to improve, you need to focus on. If it was something that was easy to accomplish where you could just kind of slip it into the back corner of your brain and kind of fit it into the corner of your days, you would already be, you would be good at it if it was easy to do that. But um, things that require a little bit more effort, you know, they can be difficult and so they need, to, they require that intentional focus. So he just was warning me basically that at times it's going to feel like this is all I am doing or that I'm putting a lot of effort in, but that's part of the process. Um, the, the third thing he talked about was purpose. So he wanted us, me, to look at food as the offensive versus defensive. So um, his saying is that dieting is defensive where you're avoiding foods and nutrition like we're doing with him nutrition coaching is offensive it's the pursuit of food so um he said he wanted me to focus on foods that i like and that get me towards my goals and he kind of talked about making two diet like a venn diagram right where i have foods that i like and foods that serve my body well. And then I'm looking kind of where those two circles overlap in between, um, and then trying to expand on that and see for the most part, what can I eat in there? And then, you know, on the periphery, what kind of fits outside of that? Um, he focused on the fact that food is a gift, but like all things, gifts can be abused. And um, again, 
offensive focusing on we are attacking our protein goal we're attacking our water goal we're attacking our calorie goal we're in pursuit of that goal and this kind of just brought everything full circle to me because if you remember my first youtube video where i talked about my debt-free journey um, and what i hope to talk about on this channel I talked and gave a summary about a uh, presentation that Pastor Craig Groeschel had given at a Dave Ramsey live event. And he talked about the idea of um, being in pursuit of living debt free in that case, but that we were going to change our mindset from trying, we're trying to become debt free to we're training to become debt free. So um, I think this lines up really well with the whole pursuit of nutrition, right? We are training, we are pursuing those goals. We're working towards something. It's an active, involved process. So that was number three. So number one is being brilliant on the basics. Number two, focus. We need to elevate this in our life. Number three, being purposeful in nutrition and being offensive, taking the offense instead of the defense. Number four, progress over perfection. This fits perfectly with me um, in another video that I did where I was talking about um, a Dave Ramsey personality and some things that have been going on. Um, you know, I really like the idea of progress over perfection. Um, their slogan was finish, not focus. Uh, if that kind of clues you in a little bit, but just the idea that, um, we are all work in progress. We are imperfect human beings and we're gonna mess up. I think I have said every year on one one, I've written my goals, progress over perfection, right? Like if I wait for the day where I live completely perfect um, and I, you know, if I mess up, I just completely throw in the towel, I'm never really gonna get started. I'm never gonna continue to move forward because falling down is definitely part of the process and you need to just focus on the fact that I am being intentional, I am focusing on my health journey and I am moving forward day by day. It might not look the best every day, I might mess up, but again, progress over perfection. And then the fifth thing that he focused on was that we really wanna make sustainable long-term changes. So, um, you know, the goal that we set out for myself was to lose about a pound a week. Uh, that's not super fast. That's not a whole bunch of weight. You're not going to see some YouTube video where it's like, I lost 80 pounds in a month. Um, but the whole point is to find a way of life that works uh, into, that's sustainable, right? That, that works into what I'm doing and is achievable so that um, I don't just like do something to get the job done and then I haven't learned anything, I haven't learned any new habits, um, and I kind of fall back into my old ways. I will share more about my weight loss journey in another video, but um, I have done that before and I did gain the weight back, surprise, surprise. I'm sure probably a lot of you can relate to that. But either way, you know, he said, I'm not gonna tell you to dump out your pantry. I am going to get you to think about foods that you like, why you like them, what they do for your body, and then going back to being brilliant at the basics. Once we reach those goals of you know protein, water, if we're within our calorie goal, how can you fit those things back in and kind of round out the edges to make yourself feel um, content and to have this be a sustainable change? He strongly feels that excluding whole food groups, you know, carbs, sugar, gluten, um, soy, dairy, while some people feel they probably need that, and I have, I have definitely gone down that path and had people recommend that with PCOS, it is not sustainable for me. And I think that's why a lot of us kind of fall off the path. So um, I really appreciate the fact that he said we're going to focus on sustainable long-term changes. So... Let me know if this was interesting to you, if you found this helpful at all. Again, to recap those uh, five main things I took away from the conversation with my first, first nutrition coach meeting was to one, be brilliant at the basics, two, to focus and really put this at an elevated point in my life, my health journey, 
Three, be purposeful, be in pursuit of nutrition. So take the offensive um, approach versus defensive. Four, focus on progress over perfection. And five, make changes that are sustainable in the long term. That's our goal. All right, guys, that's all I have today. I will continue to meet with the uh, nutrition coach, you know, face to face or well, I should say over the computer and then also just on a weekly check in basis as well. Um, so make sure to again like and subscribe so you can hear some nuggets that might be helpful to you in any type of health journey or just life journey in general that you're working on. Um, and check in with me and let me know what you're working on. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.